In this video, I will show you how to set up user documents. From your dashboard, if you have the appropriate permissions, go to Settings. Then select Users and User Documents. Documents that are active on this page can be stored for each user. They can also be enforced during scheduling and dispatching using activity types. For this example, I will click Profile Photo. If this is a document you don't want to keep track of, mark it as non-active and it will be removed from the list. You can also customize the user access so they can modify it or upload their own or if you want to set it to view only and they are allowed to view what has been uploaded for them. You also see the Can Be Overridden field. If this is enabled, only the users with permissions can override reservation or dispatch errors will be allowed to bypass a field check for this document. If this is disabled, no users can override. If you absolutely never want a failed check for this document to be overridden, set this to no. If you want to add a document from the library, we support a few general documents, a few aviation authority documents, and we plan on adding a few more aviation authorities soon. I'm going to select from the library and add a medical certificate. To show you what I've just done, this is Susan Williams. I'll go to her documents. We can now review her documents and the status of those documents. You see the medical certificate that we just added. Check out the tutorial on setting up activity types because each of the documents you have active can be enforced at the activity type level for scheduling and dispatch.